is a women's only self-defense course. It stands for Rape Aggression Defense, um, and it is unique compared to other self-defense curriculum because it focuses on, um, rather than attack strategies, escape strategies. My name is Charles Bowen. I'm the training coordinator for Georgia Southern's Police Department. I'm the defensive tactics instructor and a use of force instructor. And my job is to teach all the police officers um, from this university. I also teach at the regional academies. And I also assist with teaching some civilian programs like RAD. When thinking of RAD initially and what it was trying to prevent, it was one of those situations you play in your mind, but you never think it'll happen to you. You always think about those what if situations and what you might do if you are faced with the important decision to defend yourself. While taking the class, um, it was nice to see all the other demeanors of the participants and what they actually were getting from the class. Um, they all needed something different and they didn't know it until the class was done, until they had finished. Um, I liked that it was like something I've never learned before. Um, I've never taken a self-defense course and it really exceeded my expectations that I had. My favorite aspect was the simulations on the last day. Um, we got to use everything we had learned all week and we got to like actually see how they could be used in a real situation. It just made me feel very empowered. For me, my favorite part is the fact that it's surrounded around women empowerment and that we tell all the students that the reason why you're here today is to take your power back. It's not about being the fastest or the strongest or your age or your ability. Um, any woman can do these techniques. People think that people only go to RAD because they're not physically fit enough to, take, to defend themselves, but with RAD it really shows you that um, you can defend yourself no matter how big, no matter how small. Um, I never saw myself as someone that like could stand up for myself because I've always not really felt confident enough to do that, but it really made me feel like I could like stand up for myself and protect myself if I was put in a bad situation. Like things I would never think of, like it brought to the forefront of my mind and now I'm more aware like in my daily life and like walking in parking lots at night, even just to my apartment. And it really makes you feel empowered and inspired to, and makes you feel confident in yourself and feel prepared if you ever find yourself in a situation like that. I like seeing uh, the change from the beginning of the class to the end of the class and how, how much more confidence I see in all the students. Um, you know, when we start doing all the techniques, uh, you know, we start very basic, but they have a lot of problems sometimes. Some, some of the students who've never done any type of fighting training before. Um, and then by the end of the class, you know, not only are they doing the moves correctly, but they're doing them with confidence and, and they're putting a lot of force behind all their strikes. And, and you can see the confidence come out of them. 90% of self-defense is education. Um, so they'll learn a lot regardless of how much hands-on um, they actually participate in, in the self-defense physical portion of the class, which it is very physical. Um, it's three days, 12 hours all together, uh, including a simulation where we stage the attacks and they can apply what we, what we teach them. So if anything, it's because they can learn a lot from it and you know, use it throughout their entire life. It's good to have this training just in case.